Downing Powered Air Purifying Respirator, or PAPR, and Personal Protective Equipment, PPE. If you need to use your ID badge for PPID specimen label printing, remove your ID badge from the badge holder and place it in a clear plastic bag so the barcode is visible. Then, once donning is complete, bring the plastic bag with your enclosed ID badge into the room. Gather PPE equipment, including gown, paper, and gloves. Cell phones, pages, and keys should be kept in pockets and not in the patient's room. Tie your hair back as needed. Don clean gloves and grab two Sani wipes. With the first wipe, sanitize the counter. Then after removing your face protection, use the second wipe to sanitize either your face shield or goggles, whichever you are using. After cleaning, place your face protection on the clean counter or if available, hang it on a hook. Remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Remove your universal mask, being careful not to touch the front of it, and place it on the prepared surface or in the reprocessing bin. Perform hand hygiene and don gloves. Using Sani wipes, clean the paper hood inside and out. Clean the tubing and battery pack. While cleaning, inspect the paper. Inspect tubing for cracks and tears. Remove gloves and perform hand hygiene. Make sure the airflow tube is securely attached to the paper. To turn on the paper, Note instructions may vary by unit type. There are two buttons on the top of the papper. The small button is the power, and the larger is for fan control. To turn on the papper, push and hold the small button until it beeps. It will go through its boot up process and then vibrate to indicate that it is ready to use. To don the papper, place papper battery pack against your lower back. Fasten the belt around your waist. Guide the airflow tube upward behind you. To connect the airflow tube to the hood, attach airflow tube to the plastic circle at the back of the hood. On some units, an adapter may be required. If using a new hood, remove the tissue paper covering from the clear plastic face shield. Put on the hood. Adjust the head cover so face shield fits snugly under your chin. Some units have different hood sizes available. The lowest fan speed provides a protective level of airflow, but the speed can be turned up if desired for comfort. To increase the fan speed, push and hold the larger button until it beeps. This can be done twice to go from low to medium to high. The papper then will be at a maximum airflow. To reset back to the lowest setting, press and hold the larger button again until it beeps. This papper has an alarm that would sound through the hose to the hood. It will also vibrate. The flashing red light at the top of the papper will indicate what the problem is, whether it is the filter or the battery. To don the gown, opening should be in the back. Place the neck opening under your chin. Use both hands to spread the neck opening and carefully lift over paper, face shield, and hood. Put your thumbs through the thumb holes. Secure ties tightly in the back. Adjust paper hood as needed. Don gloves over your gown. You are now ready to enter the patient room.